Um, yeah. Um, can you guys hear me from the back? All right. So I don't have to mic don't need to use a microphone. Um, so uh, thanks for having me. Um, thank you, Chen Xie, for you know, inviting me to, to to maybe talk about uh, what I do and uh, my involvements in uh, so open source. So I I think this will be um, the first time I will. You know, I, I usually talk with like slides and uh, usually more technical. But so Chen Xie says, you know, uh, just tell a story. So uh, I'll try to make it fluid. And anytime, if you have any questions, you can just uh, you know ask me. And uh, all right, so let's start. Um, yeah. So I think GitHub is running this. So I'll start with my GitHub profile. Um, I'm ZZ85 on GitHub. Um, yeah, um, that's me. <laughs> Um, I am a, uh, I'm a software engineer at uh, Zopim, uh, which was acquired by Zendesk, if you have heard before. Um, and in my free time, I um, I have lots of random ideas, and you know, so I like to experiment. Um, I develop a lot in JavaScript, so a lot of my projects like revolve around JavaScript in a browser or in Node.js, and uh, sometimes trying to to find out like what's possible or fun. Um, um, I, I also started a meetup called Creative Coding. So um, it will be, may, maybe later you will be able to relate like how all this came together. Um, so uh, maybe let me sh uh, start with like some of the projects that I have. Um, <coughs> yeah, what the trees. So, um, so in case you guys are sleeping, um, I have uh, I'm going to do a bit of demo. <laughs> okay, so, so this is a drone, right? Uh, it, it costs like 25 bucks. And uh, in case you're sleeping, I'm going to wake you up right now. Okay, there is it. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, so like drone flying is like one of my um, things that I. Um, do my free time and uh, like just a couple of days ago, like I had the idea, like what if I could? Uh, uh, the, the problem with this is that uh, it's it's kind of uh, it's charged by USB um, cable and it, it flies about five minutes. So so when it runs runs out of battery, you know you have to go charge it for about twenty minutes again. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> and uh, and. And so, so I thought, what if uh, you know I could write a simulator in in, in JavaScript? So that's how I um, have this. So it kind of like it's kind of similar to this uh, remote control, and uh, you can kind of like see, uh, you know, you, you can you can fly into it without like really disturbing like friends, you know, or or like destroying some of your property at home. Okay. So um, all right. So okay. So so um, what other stuff um, just to share? Um, one of um. One of the projects, uh, I, I'm so kind of like interested in, in data visualization. So um, one of the projects I have was, um, for example, a Git. Um, yep, um, a Git visualization uh, done in like WebGL and in the browser. So this kind of like shows. Uh, Oh yeah, actually we yeah, uh, Chen Xie actually helped me on this. Like we we, we prototype the idea like in a in a hackathon, right? Uh, yeah. For the report, I did not help anything. I only wrote a line in the <laughs> and I think that line is still there. It's an empty line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so you can kind of like uh, visualize kind of the. That's yeah. Uh, yeah, like how the. How the die tree of the project is, and these are the git commits. Okay, 
Um, all right. So um, another of my um, uh, so this is kind of like the geek log uh, shows you. Uh, the GitHub actually has this like really nice graph. So I try to combine like um, the graph with the the, the git commits, um, and so you you have this. Um, Another of my projects is um, kind of like visualization of this space. So this is built with Electron, which is a, fr a framework to help you write desktop apps with uh, web technology. It's like JavaScript. Okay. Um, so, um, but I guess um, so. So these are like many, many like uh, projects that, that that I have and I do in my free time. But uh, I, I, perhaps I'm more well known for. Um, on uh, being a graphics noob, but uh, and and contributing to this uh, really popular open source library called TreeJS. So, um, so TreeJS is actually um, a JavaScript 3D library, um, which was mm, created by Ricardo, or uh, also known as Mr. Doob. Uh, if you and and it's, it, um, he, he does lots of awesome stuff. But probably if you if you look uh, at the repositories, you'll see that. Uh, there's this insanely uh, popular uh, library. So if you if you were to do, let's say, you want to write something a web GL app, uh, instead of having to write like hundreds of code, you can just write three lines of code uh, using this library. So, um, so, so, right, so you, you could see uh, like from the README, like this is the uh, the amount of code like. You put a camera, you put, you make an object, you put it into a scene, and then you render it. Um, and this is the website for TreeJS. Um, you can see that a lot of um, a lot of cool stuff has been built. That a lot of uh, it, it, um, like even products, you know, it, it really give you like immersive experiences. Uh, they they can they can be built with this library. So um, so. I guess uh, the story is uh, how uh, how how did I get involved in this project, uh, and um, and uh, how how I came about like uh, doing something which is uh, not part of what I do at work, right? Um, and, and and I think um, uh, for the start um, it was the year was probably twenty eleven, uh, and uh, the at that time I'm more of a you know JavaScript a web developer. And, and the browsers are coming out with new so HTML5 features. You have the Canvas API. And I think uh, it was Firefox 3 or Firefox 4 at that year, which uh, announced, uh, which shipped with this called WebGL. So, um, so being, you know, following the news, I said, oh, wow, there's a, you know, there's a new feature with this browser. So what does it do? And um, when, when I look around, um, the only library um, Probably the top website, which actually shows the use of WebGL, was 3JS, and and so and um, and to give you a bit of background, I, um, um, I wasn't, I did not take computer uh, graphics in school. Uh, although, like, I thought, oh wow, it's actually, you know, that's that's something 3D animation and and uh, you know, like effects is 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 always feel so interesting to me. But it, it wasn't part of my education, so. You know, up to that at that point of time, like uh, I was really new to that, uh, and and when when I saw that, it's like, oh wow, you know, this can be, you know, instead of using like software like After Effects, uh, uh, you know, like um, or three D software like um, Maya, you know, you you can start to build three D stuff in a browser with JavaScript. Um, so then that that was how I kind of like found about. Uh, you know this library, and 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 then I started to to, to get involved, uh, like asking questions at the start. So if, if you look at the left column, all right, you will see documentation examples. Uh, that's where you can download GitHub Stack Overflow IRC. Um, so, so back four years ago, right, uh, when this library was still new, documentation wasn't you know as good as it is today, and um, and often, if you want to do something, 
uh, the best documentation is the examples. So, um, so this is the example page. Um, this, for for example, the first uh, example. This was one of the um, examples that I contributed, which was a cloud simulation. Right? Um, and you could like, you know, like say, stop the wind, boss. It's a ball too. And and what's so good about this is that uh, you look at an example and you try to figure out like, oh, how can you do that, right? And what you have to do is to click like, view source. And then you can see like what it takes to actually build that example. So I think that is what, what is great about like open source. Like um, it helps you learn because if you if you were to think of something like um, let's say shadows, right? You could actually load an example and and and, and that is if it's that, that is what you want. Uh, you know, you could just look at the source. So in this case, like this example demonstrates like you know, the shadows that is below the horses. Um, so in, in, in the background, you can see that uh, there's this block of text called, which is, uh, yeah, which says 3.js. Um, so, um, So if you are familiar with uh, GitHub, you know you, you know that they have issues and pull requests. And issues is where, uh, when you have a problem with the library or you found a bug, you know you, you could you could um, kind of like just make an issue or you could look for issues that others have had. And but in the past, um, it the issues was also a place where you ask questions. And if you if you were to trace to my earliest involvement. So let's sort it by orders. Um, yeah. Actually, in fact, um, the issue channel in the past was more like a forum, right? It, it was a place where where people would like post stuff, um, and then and then I would say something, and 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 you say uh, how how did I get involved? You could you, you could say that you know it's just by just looking at the issues and making a comment, just like how you get involved in, in, uh, in, in a community or a forum. So the next thing I, I did was, um, oh, I think it's probably on the pull request. Um, Okay, so if you go back to the page, um, you, you will see that there's also an IRC channel. So IRC channel was a place where I started up, uh, started off with like asking questions and uh, you know, for, for me being new to like this 3D world, you know, like I have so many questions like what, what is it I actually do, you know, what, what do a camera do, how do you, you know, render something. And, and, and I had this uh, idea that uh, how so one of my first thing is that I wanted to make like if if you you watch like the opening of the uh, the movies like where you see like there's this like Hollywood words right and and, and so I asked like how how do you make that scene and and the answer was that oh you know you have to use a three D software like Blender you know you make the text and then you export the three D model and then and then you put it into JavaScript so at that time I thought um, since my experience with all this 3D software wasn't great. I thought, why if we could render it in in JavaScript, why can't we create the model in JavaScript too? And and Mr. Duke um, at that time I said, well, you know, we simply do not have like that feature, right? Um, but if you like to, you could contribute, or you know, you could try writing something. And that was how I I began. Like I started to think about how I could, you know, I could do it. I could I could do it and uh, and along the way like you know uh, I have to look at how how you could even like generate the text in uh, in JavaScript so so I found that you can actually take a, a font file and you get the shapes and then you have to do triangulation 
And, um, and it was actually not a very... Um, it wasn't something simple, but it was something... By doing that, I learned a lot. And, uh, and, and back to the examples... Um, When it's done, um, <coughs> yeah. So this was like one of the first examples that came up with. Um, it's like um, that's the canvas version, and this is the web gel version. So you can say hello, touch, right? And then you, it's like created in three D. Change the colors, change the font. Right. Okay. Um, up to now, is there any questions? Uh, uh, did you create this example? Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, so I started off with like, I wanted to, to show that it's dynamic and not like taking a model. Uh, and and then it got, um, so what's so nice about open source was that the other contributor um, actually add on to it. Like say, oh, you know, um, uh, like he added like, let's make it like, to, to, to give this a bit more like reflection and, and, and so the examples kind of evolve. So, um, yeah. So, um, Joshua, what yes. year did you add your first feature? I think this was 20, 2012 or 2011. And so you've been working with it ever since? Yes. So, um, so, so I've, um, yeah, like one thing led to another and I think oh, um, in the, I became like more involved, like, uh, you know, like any new exciting thing which was like added to the 3 um, you know, I, I was like, like, okay, go in the code, looking at the comments, right, and then see if there's anything I could improve on. Um, and a lot of that actually came up from the issues, from other users who are re requesting features like, oh, can I have this, or can I have that, and, you know, or can I do this? And often the answer is, uh, for example, uh, if you look at my earlier school request again, um, uh, let me just assign it to me. Hmm. Started by the oldest. So okay, so this is uh, another interesting development uh, that um, at, in, in the past, um, if if you look at, I'm not sure if this still loads because uh, I think the last time I tried to load, yeah, there's too many bugs. So I think this is just too popular where you know where, where it, it doesn't get uh, loaded here. But if if you look at the faults, um, um, you 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 you'll be able to see that uh, that. Somebody uh, added a new example, and uh, and then that gets merged, and, and it, you know like like a, a little like the example that I showed you just now. Um, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for example, if somebody f uh, kind of like make a put, you know, like uh, this is from a different branch. So in, in the past, uh, it was more fluid, like uh, where there was, I think the core contributors were about three, and 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 so and so the author of the library would just kind of like fetch our our remotes and uh, and then just merge it. But I think as as it, as it grew, uh, as the project grew to to today, um, you can you can see the number of like. Contributors, I think uh, this this probably not all, you know, but you could see that even many of them may just make one or two commits, right? And um, so and although I haven't been active you know, on, on this project, uh, yeah, I'm still like, like somewhere up there. Uh, so this is me at number five, <laughs> yeah. So like you you could see like these are my more active years, and then uh, you know, and I, I think it reached a point where the library is so mature that that, uh, you know, I don't have to do much. Um, um, but yes, back to the point on, on, how, and, um, on how I got started. Uh, uh, 
Um, or how, 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 how I kind of like added new stuff, right? Um, yeah, so, so it's kind of back and forth where, where you know, I say, okay, you know, um, added this and, and people will comment, oh, okay, it's good, uh, you know, or bad, or, you know, there's this bug, and, um, and then it got merged. Um, and, and then it, it seems that um, for ge geometry was something which was not uh, being um, worked on. Uh, so so there, there was a lot of opportunity for me to, 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 to contribute in this area. So, um, oh, so you can see that uh, feature as requested from issue 490. So somebody asked, oh, is subdivision geometry possible? So if you watch like Pixar cartoons, you see that uh, you know, the skin is really smooth, right? And it's not, um, and, and, and the, the technique which was uh, developed was by Edward Clark who came up with this um, technique called a subdivision modifier which allows you to take like, maybe just a few points and smoothen it. So, yeah, so somebody commented this is like 2011 yeah. uh, and, 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 and the author said, okay, you know, there's nothing in the, in the library but if you find a small algorithm, you know, plot it then yeah, it would be good to have. So, um, and, 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 and then I, I, one day, you know, I just, I, I decided, okay, I'll try reading the paper, right? Uh, and, and then when I was reading it, it, it was, you know, when I was, um, papers are kind of scary to me because they usually have a lot of, like, formal notation. Um, but, but, you know, I, I think it came to a point of time where I just, okay, decided that I'm going to try reading the paper. And, and it turns out it wasn't that difficult to, to understand and I yeah, wrote something up and, and then that, uh, that was like the, um, the kind of like the, the history behind this. So you could see that uh, you have something which is not really smooth, just a few points and like creating subdivisions, it becomes smooth. And then you will see like back and forth again, right? And, um, Oh yeah, and and, and today like uh, the example still exists here. So if you look, if you just search for like sub division, right, uh, you can see that um, starts with a box, and you create more. It becomes really smooth, and um, take a monkey head, which is uh, which was. <laughs> I say 500 vertices at the start, but as you smoothen it, it looks, yeah, it looks like pretty, like kind of like uh, polished. And and I think like one of the things which, um, which maybe I can come to, to 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 the next point, like what is my motivation for doing this? Like um, like it it turns out that um, you know this library is so popular that that people in agencies, you know, like. Uh, people who are in this field, uh, even Apple is actually using this library. Um, but for me, which is, uh, you know, it's not, you know, I, I have not gotten to use this at work uh, because it's kind of like a different nature. Um, it, uh, people will ask like, why, why, why do I do this? And uh, what motivates me to do that? And I, I think um, one of the things that, that, um, that I'm, that, Personally, for me, was that uh, by actually contributing, uh, I am actually learning in the process. So, like before, I could actually, you know, like for some people, they, they might already have the knowledge to do how. Like there, there is some in a few who, who who are in the special visual effects field, and they and they could say, oh, you know, like I could do this and I could contribute, so that uh, the rest of the community could could benefit from that. But for me, it's more of like an exploration. And at that time, like something like that was like nobody has done that before. Like nobody would have thought, or uh, you know, that you could have a um, geometry, uh, a kind of modifier like, that is only existing in in desktop apps. And and so that could be a factor which uh, kind of motivates me to say, okay, um, you know, just try it. And you know, when I try it, oh, you know, surprisingly, it, it works and it runs like at sixty frames per second. And and then uh, you know, you just kind of give you give it back to, to the library, and and I think uh, another so 
Another reason that uh, kind of like makes me maybe happy in a way uh, is that uh, when you when you see that actually people are using it, right? If you if you look at the examples, um, or if you follow the news, like like what has been created with 3GS, I believe there is um, there is um, hold on. There's also a Google Plus page um, uh, called 3GS. Uh, there's a lot of things that we also share on Twitter between like Mr. Du, myself, uh, and and you you will see that you know that how this library is being used, right? Um, and like there's so there's so much things uh, you know so so much possibilities, and and. And sometimes you will see that, you know, like when, when I started out, you know, like being a, a noob, knowing zero about computer graphics to, to, to adding just one or two features, so time to time you'll see that, oh, that is actually being used. And I guess that, that is a, that is a, a great point of uh, satisfaction. Um, okay. So, any, any questions yet so far? Uh, are we on time? Uh, Okay, and uh, so let me let me see if there's anything else that I have. Demo, demo. Demo? Uh, for which demo? That one. The drone. <laughs> oh, but, but I demoed it already. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm just going to... Yeah, so, so I guess um, the, the last thing was that... Um, Okay, so, so maybe let me just uh, close up by saying that uh, why, uh, why would I want to do this? Like, why would I spend my free time like, doing something that you are giving away? And I guess for me, that I, I've, maybe I was just uh, young and you know, maybe free. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't really talk about that. Like, oh, do I get paid for doing this, right? Like, you know, this is something that may, maybe you would think that, you know, yeah, I, maybe I will contribute if 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 I get paid, paid. But uh, for me, I just um, it became like a hobby, a process where uh, you know I, I kind of like just love doing, and and I, and I think it, it it also brought me to places, right? Um, it um, like it taught me new stuff, and and uh, and and I think um, like. It, it gave opportunities that like, like people would would, would uh, you know would, would talk to me uh, you know about uh, about about this and, and and I think at least there's at least like two conferences which has invited me to speak about say three js um, and and um, yeah I, and I think so so so, so my conclusion is that uh, is is that well, you know, if you if you are passionate about something, right? You just you know, just go and do it, and uh, you know, um, sometimes it, yeah, it, it may actually benefit you in a way that you you have not thought about before. Right. Cool. Thank you. Any, any questions? No. Okay. So. Ah, uh, that's a question. Oh, sorry. Mm hmm. Sorry, yeah, is there a way to? Could you write shaders in 3JS? Um, yes, uh, definitely. So um, if you if we go back to the examples again, and you just look at like shaders, there's like so many examples out there. Um, like, I think that this is one of the the contribution, which is uh kind of simulating a, a, a sky shader, you could kind of like adjust the, how the sun goes around, you know, like this, uh, the sun rising from, from a sunrise to, to noon, you know, you could kind of adjust like uh, these parameters to, to show whether the sky is like uh, more misty or, and, and yeah, definitely, um, so, 3GS comes with default shaders, which says that 
you have a basic material, um, but you could also create custom shaders like this, right? Um, and maybe just click on shader. And if you, if you view source, um, you'll, be, you'll be able to see that this is the, the block of code, which was the custom shader for this. Stand up and move around a bit because your meals have arrived. Uh, I think they've just been uh, moved into this corner, so slowly move.